you're new to Rocket League in 2019, you're probably hearing of many different things that mean absolutely nothing to you. Who are the pre-flip gang? And what do they want from me? What is a squishy and where do I acquire a Philip head screwdriver? I mean flippery set. Don't fear, man's got you. So Rocket League just hit its fourth birthday and as the game grows older, we still get many new players finding out about the awesomeness that is car soccer. It's car football, god damn it. Let me take my breath back. If you keep up with every aspect of Rocket League, you'll be aware that Psyonix have taken us on a roller coaster of a ride thus far. Everything ranging from casual and ranked playlists, new game modes, tournaments, seasonal events, all the bugs in every patch that plague our dreams when we sleep at night. All of the crazy RLCS moments that the pros and casters have given us over the years. One key factor into why Rocket League has us in the clutches of its girthy talons is because it's simply addictingly fun. The players are constantly finding out new mechanics and new ways to make the game interesting. Let's go back to 2015 when Rocket League first released. I had never heard of supersonic acrobatic rocket powered battle and I'm pretty sure many of you hadn't either. It was a PS3 exclusive which had next to zero exposure. So when I heard of a game called Rocket League, not knowing it was a sequel or version 2.0 of Start BC that was newly releasing for free on PS4, I couldn't wait for it to drop. Myself and a dear friend Burnsy downloaded it the day of release and were instantly hooked, but fast forward a few months and I'd taken a break from it to play other games. And when I returned I had fallen so far behind him in skill that it wasn't even funny. He introduced me to one of his friends that he'd met while I was away. Many of you know him as Mercy, but back then that wasn't the case. Burnsy and CEO underscore MXRT were causing some trouble in Rocket League and they were dragging me along in the dirt with them. They were nearing the top of the leaderboards and playing against many of the pros we love to watch today and in the very early stages using mechanics very few were while I was sitting in goal and reaching 20 maybe 25 points a game. But Mert didn't want to continue down that path. Instead he wanted to practice freestyling and well if you don't know by now that's how he started to get his initial fan base. If we're excluding that small fan base he built off Minecraft as a 14 year old. Anyway, enough reminiscing. In 2015 Rocket League blew up because it was free on PS4 the month of release. And many many of the PC players and pros you all know today originally started out on PS4. Over the years it's impressive that Rocket League has continued to get bigger maintaining a consistently high player base, increasing our LCS prize pools, more and more insane mechanics being found out to be cool, viable or both, the list goes on. Anyway, back to the present day, and taking everything that Rocket League now has to offer in terms of gameplay mechanics, who wouldn't want to learn how to hit a pre-flip turtle, wall drag, cuxay, twist, air dribble, stall, ceiling shuffle, flip reset, ground bounce, musty flick, backboard, double tap. <sighs> that was hard to do under one breath when you've got these fucking hay fever allergies killing you. Now imagine you're new to Rocket League in 2019, and you're hearing of all these mechanics that are mostly high level mechanics at that. You'd be forgiven for wanting to curl back into your shell and sink off into the abyss of the Pacific Ocean. But fear not for I am here to guide you 2019 peasants to victory. No really I am. There's just one thing you need to do to gain the knowledge you seek. All you have to do is... Trust me on this, all you have to do is like and subscribe, mate. Peace out, motherfuckers.